Hello Capricorn, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 26th of April to the 2nd of May 2021. So I hope you're well. Let's get straight into your reading and pull your angel card for the week. So what do we have for our lovely Capricorns, please? Angels, spirits, guides. What does Capricorn need to hear the most? Thank you for the week. 26th of okay thank you <laughs> so we have opportunity open your arms to receive we have this opportunity you see that purse that angel just opening their hands to receive all the gifts that the universe is showering on them lovely lovely energy okay so what do we have for Capricorn, please, Angel Spirits Guides? And it will be 26th of April to the 2nd of May 2021. Starting with the challenge position, please. Then we'll clarify the cards, go deeper into the message, Capricorn, and it won't resonate for everybody. So just take what resonates with you. So we have the Emperor in the challenge position. Temperance is advice from spirit and your near future outcome. We have the Queen of Swords. Let's clarify, go deeper into the message for Capricorn, please, for the week. Angel Spirits Guides, thank you. And it will be 26th of April to the 2nd of May. 2021. Let's clarify these cards on the table for Capricorn, please. <laughs> the sun. I've got three major arcana so far. Big energies, Capricorn. Uh, temperance, we have the nine of wands, yeah. And then we have the Queen of Swords with the Ten of Swords. And bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Swords. I'm going to clarify that Four of Swords. I feel it's quite important. Let's clarify this Four of Swords for Capricorn, please. Angels, Spirits, Guides. Message for our lovely Capricorns. Thank you. Justice. Lots of cards of balance here, Capricorn. I'm going to get one more. Any other message to go with Justice and the Four of Swords? Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> it kind of felt right. Okay. Okay, Capricorn. So we have opportunities being presented. Well, it is. It is coming. And I'm definitely getting this energy. There is a big shift coming your way. But it feels in this, you know, this emperor energy. And the sun in the challenge position. There's a feeling here, Capricorn, of I'm getting a loss of power. Something happened where you felt a loss of power, a loss of control over, it feels an area of your life. You know, I'm, I'm getting money, career, finances. It could be other areas, obviously. You know, health can make us feel out of control. And certainly the sun card can be to do with health as well as other material aspects. Um, but it got you down. It got you down. And this is an energy of things are about to get so much better with that sun energy. It is coming through the other side of a situation that has been a challenge and a block to overcome. The sun is generally good news, celebration, joy, happiness. But I'm definitely feeling in this energy something caused 
uh, a loss of power and a loss of control over a particular part of your life. For me, I'm feeling to do with money, career, finances. Like I said, it could be to do with your health. It could also be to do with um, relationships. I mean, it can be to do with relationships as well. It is a general reading. And, I mean, I love the energies of temperance because temperance is just slowly but surely you know finding your way forward finding your flow uh restoring balance to your life restoring harmony to your life uh, being in your flow again you know um and again it feels like having a new sense of purpose too especially this loss of power energy because it feels like it was lost lost it was a loss of self-identity. It affected your self-identity. Because we have Aries, which is all about the house of self in Zodiac terms. So I'm definitely getting in this energy. This is about trying to just restore balance and harmony. And the Nine of Wands is, yes, it's been a difficult journey. And that's what Spirit is acknowledging. But you are one wand away. You are so close. There's one hurdle to go before you find your flow again. And it feels very, very beautiful indeed. It's tested your faith, Capricorn. Tested your faith, your power, your resolve, your perseverance, your determination, your energy levels. Everything has been tested on this difficult journey. But it feels in this situation you're very close to coming through the other side of a situation and just getting balance back in your life again. Now, for some of you, you know, when court cards appear, they can represent people. So there could have been a person that hurt you deeply. But because the Queen of Swords represents balance, I'm definitely also seeing this energy. You know, this is card of Libra. Other cards on the table, we have Libra again with Justice. We've also got Temperance, which is Sagittarian energy. Um, we have, she represents balance as well. So, um, it feels for some of you, you have been, the, the Ten of Swords can be about betrayal, hurt, loss, wounds, being stabbed in the back. I mean, there's levels to this card. It always looks quite extreme. But you know, you see that sun rising in the distance and it's pushing away the darkness because it's a ten, it's a completion. There is now an opportunity to lift that darkness and get balance back in your life. And I feel that is being presented with an opportunity coming your way that is restoring balance in your life. You're very close and that's what Spirit is telling you. So it feels in this energy, patience, perseverance, determination, but absolutely this is about being open to receive now. Because I'm definitely getting in this energy. The Four of Swords is a card of, um, it can be a card of recovery. I'm feeling uh, a sense of recovery. Getting your, it can be a card of getting your head around a situation, seeing your way forward now. Having gone through maybe some kind of period of recovery, it's generally a, it's generally a, a shortish period of recovery. Um, or it can be to get clarity, you know, on seeing the way forward here. But it feels for some of you things are turning in your favour. Because is it, I mean, you know, I have to say this is karma turning in your favour. And I have to say there are karmic energies here, Capricorn. So there's definitely an energy of what goes around comes around. There could have been somebody who treated you badly who is now experiencing their own karma that is what the cards are telling me here and you might become clear of that you know um so certainly it feels in this situation you know wrongs are always righted balance will be restored but as an energy the justice is also about restoring balance however it, it's a card of reaping what you sow you're very close what the energy the effort that you've been putting into something you're very close to finding the way forward to to opening that new adventure for yourself um 
and this is about getting the balance back in your life you know but it's also a card of fairness you know and there's definitely an energy here of if you have been treated poorly by somebody and it feels like a person who was influential in bringing in a, a loss of power a loss of identity or something that you a part of your life where you lost power that you had no control of it feels like that person will also now reap that reap the same karma that you experienced because this is about the universe you know writing itself the wheel of fortune is also about balance will be restored for you and things are opening up this is about expansion growth open the, the universe wanting to bring good things into your life good luck good fortune expansion growth um opportunity opening up very very good in terms of money career business um it is a turning point here capricorn so i'm feeling in this energy there is a powerful change of fortune there is a powerful change of fate fate you know it, it feels in this situation as you are rising there could be some kind of justice serf, somebody who who needs to be accountable for their actions so however that resonates for you balance is being restored and i definitely feel for some of you it's to do with some opportunity coming your way things are about to open up for you obstacles are about to be removed and a period of good luck good fortune is coming into your way as we get the stepping into your power card coming out yeah frog stepping into your power don't take a back seat in your story it's time to step up you're very close to the new adventure and i'm definitely getting in this energy it feels like your fate is as your destiny is, is the wheel of fortune so this is destiny is at play you're being watched over things happen when they're meant to happen but the universe will always reward you know honest hard efforts and energies and it also turns against those who are less than fair you know so i hope you enjoyed the reading if you did please do like share and subscribe i hope it's a wonderful week for you and i will see you next time thank you